lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little decorate with me video. I have this office space and I wanted to bring some Christmas magic as well as Harry Potter magic to the space. So I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you might as well click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get started. So I brought out my white Christmas tree, and of course it was very squashed, so I had to fluff it out. I always hate this part, but it must be done. But when it's done, I love the result. It looks far better than it did before and I just plugged it in just to make sure all the lights were working before I got started and so here I'm just starting with the garland. I had this gold garland on hand so I just decided to go with that. I didn't want to buy any extra ornaments um, especially since I shopped a lot this year so um, I just went with the ornaments that I already had. Thankfully most of them were already Hogwarts colors. I had red and gold, green, and silver. I didn't have any blue ornaments, but I was hoping that the silver would be good enough to represent uh, Ravenclaw. But, um, and the gold, it kind of looked like a, it's like a yellowish gold, so that kind of represents Hufflepuff, you know? But uh, <laughs> I, I did the best that I could. And, uh, but I really liked the end result. It did look very Hogwartsy. Okay, so I have three bookshelves to decorate. So on the first one, starting from the left, I have this little glass dome, which I hauled previously. Um, and I had used it in my previous Decorate With Me, but in the living room. So I decided to bring it here and put my little Harry Potter cauldron. And I have this little glow cube from Disney and I just light that up to uh, like a green color and I put this pillow fluff inside and it looks like the cauldron is kind of like bubbling over which I really like that effect and um, yes it, it's like a, actually a bowl that you eat out of so it comes with a spoon and a lid it's really cool I think I got it from Amazon I think but anyways so that is what is going in the glass globe and the potions that you see over there is the same, uh, I just kept it the same as uh, Halloween time. Uh, if you want to check out that video, I will link that down below. But I just have a bunch of random potion bottles. And as you saw, I just added some Christmas ornaments all around just to bring a little bit of Christmas to that area. And right below that I have my books and I just have these little glow candles. Um, they were actually supposed to be hanging off the ceiling to look like floating candles, but I did not have a ladder this year. So I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to do that. But anyways, I just added those to the bookshelf and had some ornaments um, placed randomly in between each candle. But I did actually get to do the floating candles and the flying keys in my house last year if you want to see that uh, I will have those videos linked below it's from my last year's Christmas decorate with me and Halloween decorate with me so um, yes make sure to check the description box down below but anyways this here is the other bookshelf and I have this little wooden display case from the Target dollar spot that I got this year and it is actually displaying my little mini Harry Potter Funko Pops, which are actually from an advent calendar, and I actually did haul that recently, and I've been opening each day with you guys, actually, on Instagram and TikTok, so make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I will leave my handle up there on the screen, and um, yeah, so we open the advent calendar. I have a Lindor chocolate advent calendar that I opened with you guys, and a Harry Potter one. So make sure to check that out. Next up we have this printer area which we hardly ever use so I just decided to decorate right on top of it. I have this little table runner which was too short for me to use for my dining table and I usually always use it for my living room but my living room is going with a completely different color theme this year so I decided to just drape that right over the printer. And then of course I have my Hedwig on one side and my wizard 
Mickey Mouse on the other side. And of course I add some Christmas ornaments all around just to bring in some color to this area. And I have these Harry Potter Funko Pops, like the full size ones. And I recently hauled those as well for Halloween time actually. I actually got them from Amazon if you're wondering. So I decided to make those part of the decor of course and they were so hard to balance on top of the table runner so I was able to balance two of them, Harry Potter and Dumbledore but the other two, Hermione and Ron, I had to place uh, towards the bottom because they just would not balance <laughs> but instead I just ended up putting this little chocolate frog um, canister thing that I got recently actually from our trip to New York uh, by the way, that video will be coming up sometime soon, I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Make sure to subscribe so that you're notified when that video comes out. Front and center of the office, I decided to put my Wizards Welcome Muggles Tolerated rug that I also got recently in a haul. Oh my gosh, I, I really did do a lot of shopping this year. Oof. But anyways, um, yes, that was front and center, just like in my Halloween decorate with me. I just kept it the same. And then we have our Christmas tree, and it is beautiful. I have the tree topper right on top, the, the tree star, there you go. The tree star right on top. And um, I also, well, this is my husband's office, I should say that. And um, he was a Marine, so I have his little Marine Corps ornament right on top. If you're wondering where that ornament is from, my sister actually gave it to my husband uh, as a Christmas or birthday gift or something. But I mean, if I were to guess, I think I've seen it at Hobby Lobby, so I would definitely check there. And I had to put my little Harry Potter ornament towards the center because he is a very heavy, especially for this little tree. And uh, I didn't want the tree to topple over, so I just kept him right in the center. And then I also remembered that I had these birthstone um, ornaments and they were blue. So I finally got to add a little bit of blue onto the tree. And um, I just placed mine because it's like a lighter blue. I just placed that towards the back. And I put my husband's um, sapphire one towards the front to represent Ravenclaw. And uh, yeah, so I finally was able to add a little bit of blue. Now I did have this extra garland that I also recently hauled and I wanted to add something to the window area so I did add this little extra star that I had and then I hung this garland around. Um, you won't see it in the final uh, clips like when I show you with the lights off and everything but <laughs> because I, I literally just added it and I wanted to just put it in here before I uh, submitted this video but yes. That's there, and um, maybe for like my overall house tour, um, Christmas house tour, I will show you guys everything like all in one go. But I did add that little extra detail. And as far as lighting goes, I did have those glow candles as well as my trusty fairy lights, which I used in my Halloween decorate with me. And I have no idea how I did it, but I was able to get the fairy lights to flash red, green, yellow and blue which is so crazy it just I, I don't know how it happened it just happened and um yeah I'm hoping that for like actual Christmas day I'm able to do that again but um it does look purple in the like footage but it is blue like it's literally all of the Hogwarts colors that were flashing and I just thought that was really cool. Alrighty, so that was it for my Harry Potter inspired Christmas decor for my office. I will do a final look over just so that you guys can see everything with the lights on and then I'll show you guys how it looks with the lights off. And I of course will have some wonderful copyright free music for your enjoyment. I will be having a Christmas decorate with me for my main living room and even my bedroom and kitchen and everything coming up soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy Christmas!